Hi, this is Brian Schneider, Verification AE from Synopsys. Today I'm going to show you a short video on three different ways that you can load a design into Verti. I'm first going to start off with the simulation flow. So in this flow here, I have this file called runvcs.f. In this file, it contains things like compile options, language options, what includers you want to process, certain defines you want to pass, to the, pass, the, pass through, and also what source files you want to parse. So these will be all the files you would need to get the design up and running from a simulation perspective. Now, the important switches here are these two guys right here, minus LCA minus KDB. This will instruct VCS to compile both the simulation databases and the debug databases. In this example here, I'll be using what's called the two-step flow of VCS. If you're having to be using a three-step flow where you use like VLogan, VHDL, and, and commands, all you need to do is add this minus KDB option to all of the VCS commands you'll be using. Again, it'll create all the da databases that will have both the Verity databases and your simulation databases. So what I'll do here is I'll run the command of VCS minus full 64 minus file run VCS.f. The reason I'm using the minus file switch is because in this manifest file I actually have compile options, so that is necessary for VCS to process those, those options, like the minus LCA minus KDB options. So we see here it's going through and doing the compile, it's going through and parsing the design, and then I'll link and compile the design to the SIMV executable. This should only take a couple more, just, just, just only take about a handful more seconds to complete. Now this is done, notice here that it told, this says here, the Verti KDB, the Verti KDB elaboration is done and the database is actually generated. This is what gives you the indication that, hey look, I did create my Verti databases. Now I can run the command of Verti minus dbdir simvdater. So you just want to point this to your simulation databases. Now this will go and launch Verti. Once Verdi comes up, you'll have all your design information loaded in Verdi, similar to, so you can do all the familiar things you're used to doing in Verdi for debug. So this is the first approach, using the simulation flow. The second approach is I'll go through and show you how, you, how we can load the design in Verdi by doing, if you didn't have a simulation flow up and running, you're not ready yet. So in this case here, I have this file called runverdi.f. Very similar to the last one, but I took out some of the compile options. In this case here, could be where maybe you don't have everything ready to actually have simulation where it's compiling clean, but you want to use Verity to analyze your files, review them, instead of using a text editor to do that. So what I'll do here is I'll run the command of Verity minus F, run Verity.f. So what this will do is this will launch Verity. It'll process that .f file and it'll parse each source file, and it'll elaborate the design. So now I have the same things we just saw in the last example. I have, have all my design loaded, but it gives you a way that you can go through and load your design. If you happen to have any compile errors, they'd show up down in this message tab. We're here, I have a few warnings here, but one, one thing about using this flow of Verdi, if you did have things where let's say you didn't have all the blocks available, maybe some source files are, are not compiled yet or available, this would show up in this list here, but you'd still be able to use Verdi from a design understanding standpoint. So this is method two. The third method is Verdi comes with a compiler called Vericom. So I can now run a command like Vericom minus F run Verdi.f. What this will do is it'll generate this database called work.libs++. So this is a, so now you actually have a Verdi database on disk. Then I can run a command Verdi minus lib work. And this will go and bring up the design. So this will be now reading the design from a library on disk. The difference from running verdi minus f run.f versus vericom is when you run verdi minus f run.f, it saves all the design information in memory, whereas in this case, running vericom, it saves all the design information to disk and that worked out lives plus plus. So that's my short video today, just to go through and show you the different ways you can load the design into verdi, starting off with the simulation flow using the KDB option, then using the Verdi minus F approach, and then using Vericom, then only the design with Verdi afterwards. Hopefully you found this useful, and 
I'll talk to you later. Thanks a bunch.